Hi guys, I know this will look really strange if you're revising for your exams in May or April, but right now it is two days from Christmas, it's the 23rd of December, and I couldn't resist filming in front of my Christmas tree because it'll only be here for a few days anyway. I'm going to tackle today the topic of making salts, and um, it's not that difficult as long as you're happy with how you actually formulate your salt. So, because you see general equations and it will be like, metal plus acid, arrow, salt plus hydrogen, and it's been like, well, what is that salt? So I'm going to talk you through what that salt is and how you can easily work it out. Remember that if you're making a salt that involves hydrochloric acid, your salt will end in chloride. If you're making a salt that is using sulfuric acid, then your salt will end in sulfate, and if you're using nitric acid, then your salt will end in nitrate. So let's jump straight into it with the most simple version, which is metal plus acid goes to salt plus hydrogen. I'm going to pick as my metal, for example, copper, then I'm going to add hydrochloric acid, and therefore I'm going to form copper chloride plus hydrogen. And that works similarly with any metal and any acid that you use. So as a second example, let's take magnesium. We're going to add it to nitric acid, and this time we're going to make magnesium nitrate plus hydrogen. So that's done. The general equation for this is metal plus acid, arrow, salt plus hydrogen. And remember, it's hydrogen gas here. Okay, next up we have a metal oxide plus acid, and what we're going to make this time is a salt, but this time we're going to make plus water, not hydrogen, and that's the crucial difference here. So taking an example, we're going to take iron oxide, we're going to add it to sulfuric acid, and therefore we're going to make iron sulfate plus water. I'm going to keep speeding through these because I promise they are really straightforward. The next equation you need is the hydroxide equation, so that will be metal hydroxide plus acid, arrow, makes salt, plus water. So this time I'm going to take copper again, copper hydroxide, plus hydrochloric acid, and it's going to produce iron chloride plus water. So it was really similar to the previous examples, but rather than using oxides, we're using hydroxides. So our general equation for this is metal hydroxide plus acid, arrow, salt, plus water. Lastly, so I told you this was a quick topic, we're going to talk about the carbonates. So this time we're using a metal carbonate, we're going to add it to an acid, and as usual we're going to produce a salt plus water, but because we're using a carbonate we know that we're going to make another gas, carbonate, carbon being the clue, so we're going to make carbon dioxide. So the general equation here is metal carbonate plus acid goes to salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. And I'm going to take an example, I can't seem to think of any metals, I'm going to take lithium, it's probably a bit dangerous, but it will still illustrate my point. So I'm going to take lithium carbonate, I'm going to add it to nitric acid, and what I'm going to produce is lithium nitrate plus water plus carbon dioxide. So, like I said, learn those general equations and make sure you're happy with how you produce the salt. Remember the salt name is whatever the metal was that reacted plus the ending of the acid, hydrochloric acid, it'll be chlorides, nitric acid, it'll be nitrates, sulfuric acids, it'll be sulfates. I hope you found my video helpful. Making salts is a straightforward topic as long as you know the general equations. Remember to like my Facebook page, Science with Hazel, and post me any questions you might have there, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!